In this video, you'll learn how to move from an old PC to new one without reinstalling anything. If you have ever set up a new PC, you know how painful it can be reinstalling all the programs, reorganizing files and setting up the system settings. Starting from zero is just tedious and time consuming. But there is an easier way to complete the migration. Let me show you guys how. So first we need a reliable cloning tool. But you should know that the hardware of two computers could be the same or different. If they are different, there might be a compatibility issue. So to handle both situations, it's best to use a professional tool like EaseUs to do backup. Using this, you can easily migrate to new PC without reinstalling anything. But before we start, make sure your Windows and all the drivers on your old PC is up to date to prevent compatibility issue after cloning. And there are two ways we can do this. If your new PC has the same hardware components, you can use a clone option. For that, just remove the disk from your new PC and use an SSD enclosure or SATA to USB cable to connect it with your old PC. Then you can select clone and after that select disk clone. So for the source disk, select the system drive of your old PC and click next and in target disk select the new drive here and click next and after that just click on proceed and click on continue and it will start cloning the disk once the cloning is complete you can close this program and turn off your computer and unplug the drive and put it on your new PC and your new PC will boot just like your old computer everything will be there if your new PC's hardware is different from the old one, cloning it directly might cause some driver conflicts and might lead to new PC failing to boot. So to make sure the migration goes smoothly, it's better to use backup option instead. So click on create backup and after that click on disk. And here select the disk that you want to backup. And after that you can click on OK and then select the destination where you want to save it. Just click on it and here it will give you different options. Local drive, EASIS cloud, network, so wherever you want to save it. So I'm going to select the local drive and I'm going to select the D drive here and I'm going to click on backup now. And you can access the backup file, copy this and move it to new PC. Uh, whether using a external drive or however you want. And we need to create a live bootable USB drive using this software. So here, click on tools and uh, click on create emergency disk. And after that, click on the USB icon and select the USB drive in here and click on create. And after that, select the first option and click on OK. Now it's creating a live bootable USB drive. Once bootable USB drive is ready, uh, click on finish and close the program. Now you need to unplug this bootable USB drive and plug it into the new PC and boot from it. And also make sure to connect your external drive to the new PC which contains the backup file. Now boot your new PC from that USB drive. For that first you need to go into BIOS settings and from BIOS you need to change the boot sequence. Here give the USB drive highest priority and then save the changes and exit. Then your PC will restart from the USB drive and enter PE mode and it will automatically launch the program. Here you just need to go and click on browse to recover. Okay click on that and here select the location where you saved the backup of your old computer. So in my case it's the local drive. Click it and now find the backup file we created before and I'm going to click on OK. And this is the actual backup file and all the partitions and data inside that backup file. So we're going to select that and going to click on next. And here we should select the target disk to complete the disk cloning. OK and I'm going to click on next. Now it's going to give you the overview how it's going to look after importing the backup. So I'm going to click on proceed and now it's going to restore that backup from our old computer to new one. Once the process is complete, you can click on finish and turn off your computer and unplug the USB drive and turn on your new computer and your computer should boot just like your old computer. All your files, programs and everything will be same as your old 
computer. And that's it for this video. Hope you found this video useful.